This game is still alive, but only just. Kohli goes down the ground. Kohli goes out of the ground. What a twist. Are we seeing a cricket match or what? There he goes. That's the biggest of them all. It's IPL time and I was just thinking I've been so privileged, so lucky to have been associated with the IPL in some form or the other in every year. And so as the mind wandered at all the great players, I've had the privilege of seeing the child in me started to awaken. And I said, can we, can we actually make a team of the best players that have played in the IPL? And it started to get more and more interesting. It sort of tickled my fancy a little bit. So I actually got down to doing it. I just said, that there must be some rules we must follow. Players should have played long enough in the IPL. So you've not just had one or two great seasons and gone. You must, in the side that we put together, play the role that you have played most often for your franchise side. One of the problems with picking side is you just pick the best batters and then you realize, okay, the opener is going to come in at number five. So I said, no, you have to play in that position. It has to be balanced. There's got to be enough bowling options. There's a side that should be able to take the field. So it should have power play bowlers. It should have death bowlers. should have wristies. should have power hitters. should have finishers. So I put all that together. And then I started off making a long list of all the players from whom I would go. So I... I asked a few people, what, what do you think? I asked Kartike Date, I asked uh, Deepu Narayanan. And then I said, should I make it a really numbers-driven, analytics-driven side? Or should I go with the reason I started doing it in the first place, which is, you know what, I've been a fan. So I'll, I'll, I'll pick it like a fan. I'll pick it on instinct. I'll, I'll pick it on people who gave a lot of joy. So this was the long list that I started off with. And you can see there's, there's a lot of great overseas players in that list, some fantastic bowlers. Then I said, no, 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 we need to add players. Yusuf Patan had a great start to the IPO. Robin Uttapa was the orange cap older. Uh, Shikhar Dhawan's been fantastic, played every season of the IPL. Glenn Maxwell. So I made a longer, long list. And then I said, okay, what are the four players, five players I cannot do without? Whichever team anybody picks, this will be the core. Chris Gale has to be in it. Chris Gale is Bradman-esque in the T20 game. It doesn't matter what metric you're looking at, what you're looking at, Chris Gale makes my side. Dhoni's been the best captain there has been, probably been the best keeper in his prime, one of the great finishers. So Dhoni gets in, the best overseas bowler by a long mile has been Lasit Malinga, and the best Indian bowler has been Jaspreet Bumrah. And the two go together. You really, if you've got those two as death bowlers, you've already got a course team starting to form. So I said, okay, those four have to be in it. I started to look around. Who've been the players who've had, who've had impact? I found that whatever iteration I did, I couldn't look beyond Hardik Pandya in my side, simply because of the phenomenal finisher he's been, the many roles he plays, the number of wickets he's taken. So there was a star then alongside Hardik Pandya's name. He looked at the opener. Kohli, Seva, Kohli, Seva, Seva, absolutely explosive. Kohli, sheer weight of numbers. Then as I started to construct the side, I said, there's so many genuine power hitters all the way through in that side. So Kohli became the next person to get a star in that side. So now I had six players in my side. I said, okay, given these six, this is the first team I came up with. You know, it's, it's starting to look like a book that I read when I was a kid, a book called The Little Prince, where he starts doing all these illustrations and says, no, no, not this illustration, this. And then he goes to another illustration. So this was the first team that I came up with. Gail, Virat, Raina, A.B., Dhoni, Hardik. Then I said, I want the left armor, Jadeja and Rashid Khan. I want the new ball bowler, Bhuvi, Bumra, Malinga. Then the mind started to, to drift again. Sky or Raina? What about the left-handedness of Rana? What about the modern, just explosiveness of Sky? When we have Pollard in there, surely Chahal should be in the side. Narayan, when he was at, at KKR, was four overs bank. You only thought you had 16 overs to play against when, uh, when Sunni Narayan was in the side. Can you have a side without Andre Russell? Again, the iteration started. This was then the second team I came up with. Gail Virat. Raina, A.B., Dhoni, Hardik. We've got Russell now. Now I've got Russell. I'm thinking, 
Jadeja, do I need Jadeja batting at number eight? Ashwin in the early years, especially in those CSK years, was unbelievable even now. Economy rate, excellent. If required, can bowl at the top. So Ashwin, now my overseas quota is finished. So I need two Indian spinners. So I've got Ashwin and Chahal, Chahal in my side. Then Bumra Malinga. So movie has got to go out to make room for a spinner. I've got Malinga, Bumra, Russell, Hardik as my four quicks. I've got Ashwin and Chahal as my spinners. Then I thought, Sky for Rana, Jadeja for Ashwin. That was iteration number, iteration number two. Then I thought, can we just pick a side which have the five best bowlers that have played in the IPL? Who have been the five best bowlers in the IPL? And then let's try and construct a side around those. The two best spinners in the IPL have been Narayan and Rashid. So you put Narayan and Rashid, Malinga, Bumra make the side again. Bhuvi, in those great years for Sunriser, he, the, side, the bowling side was built around him. So Bhuvi to start off, I've got Bhuvi, Bumra, Malinga, and then I've got Rashid and, and Sunil Narayan. What that means, though, is three overseas players gone. Gale or AB? Gale has to be in the side. Can Sky replace AB in that side? And so I went Gale, Virat, Raina, Sky, Dhoni, Hardik, and the five bowlers. You're starting to realize already what a fun exercise this is, but what an impossible exercise this is. Absolutely nobody can make this team and say, I think I've got all bases covered. So I moved on and I said, okay, so these are the two teams I came up with. And then I said, these have to play off. Gail, Virat, Sky, AB, Dhoni, Hardik, Jadija, because then the left armor comes and Rashid is the wristy, Bhuvi, Bumra, Malinga. I absolutely love this side. I've got Jadija in there as a floating left-hander because there's no left-hander in the top. Uh, in the top order after Gale. My only concern, Gale Virat, you'd have to go back to the old uh, Gale who doesn't use up too many deliveries before becoming explosive. So yeah, there's, there are certain issues with this team. And then I put that alongside Gale Virat, Raina as the left-hander, which I needed up there. AB, Dhoni, Hardik, Russell. Russell, two MVPs. Then Ashwin, Bumra, Chahel and Malinga. I've got those two teams. Which do I look at? I'm still thinking about it as, as, as I record this. I thought I'd got the team that I wanted. And then I started recording. And I said, the left team looks better. I said, but the right team has Russell in it. Hmm. Maybe the team on the right. Make your own side. It's great fun. Uh, if you are the nerd analytics number cruncher type, just go through the numbers. It's amazing what the numbers throw up as Karthikeya's notes to me came up with. You can go with plain, simple averages. You can go with strike rates. You can decide strike rates mean more to me with that than averages. You can go with economy rates and you'll get a completely different side. So decide what hat you're wearing when you make your team and then use that as the guiding principle to make your team. Do it. Enjoy yourself, share it with friends, put it aside, enjoy the start of the IPL. So thank you for watching and do subscribe to this channel.